Okay, hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs yet again. Um, this is how to make some sleek 3D text in Photoshop. Um, the final outcome will look something like this, as you can see. That's quite that's quite nice. The key to to do this: make a new and go. I'm going to do it 1280 by 720 in pixels. Background contents white. Okay, so then unlock the layer by double clicking the little padlock and then make a new layer. Hit text and type I'm gonna type chrome. I'm gonna change the initial colour to grey sort of silver. Makes it look a bit better. Okay, now once I've got this I'm gonna to go to right click that and then go to rasterize type then go to edit transform and then perspective will now be available for to be ticked if you don't rasterize you won't be able to do this so perspective and go to the top right corner and drag it down so it looks like it's fading away okay apply as you can see i've got the text basic text there and now by clicking control alt as you can see the text is going fading out to the right a bit so you want to click control alt and left, 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 and keep doing left. I'm going to make 12, no, 11. There we go. <clears throat> now hit hold shift and go from cr hit all the Chrome copies except for the original one that you originally did. Now we'll click it and click merge layers. Then drag that underneath the single one that you did originally. And then go to on the top layer, right click and blending options now you can add a grady a bevel and emboss a contour as well and on bevel and emboss click the gloss contour and oh no click the one with the the ring double now I'll make it just a bit darker now click OK oh no maybe no one that go back onto that bevel and emboss maybe soften it out just a little bit Maybe reduce the size. I'm going to lower the size down to one, and then the soften to one as well. Okay, so that just maybe gives it a little bit of a glossy effect. Um, now on the cop on the eleven copies, do the exact same. Go to blending options, click bevel and bevel and emboss contour, and then again you want to go to gloss contour and click the the. Uh, ring double again okay and then from here you can change the size and then the size that will give it that will make uh, increase the white like the lighter colors of it so it'll make it look like there's a reflection going on rather than a solid color and uh, maybe so you can soften out a little bit a little bit contour and that's, that's quite cool like that um you can then I maybe add a gradient overlay that looks quite cool if you just leave it as the default where it's black at the bottom so yeah I think that's about it you can also you can always add things if you want and you if you now want to do something else with them right click and no uh, do that one uh, sorry about that don't that won't come up merge layers and as you can now I can move all the chrome that text together and as you see that's quite advanced that's better than a lot of the things I've seen okay so remember to rate and subscribe guys and um more tutorials soon. Okay, bye.